Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. One of the most frequent questions I get from you is what's my secret for creating realistic drawings? Well, I've made few videos where I share general tips on how to improve realistic drawing, but I realized I haven't focused on one important aspect in particular, uh, the essential feature that brings the drawing to life for me and that is smooth kind of shading. In this video I will show you how to achieve such a result and further in the video I'll talk about really easy technique I started using recently, especially in my smaller drawings. But first I will talk about my primary technique. When we use graphite pencils and start shading, we can mostly see the strokes, the trajectory of the pencil. This trajectory is beautiful and it can even add some kind of authenticity to the drawing. But in case we want to achieve smoother result, more softness, then I would recommend a few simple tips. In the process of shading, I do not scribble, I try to keep the strokes, the pencil lines very close and to let them fade into each other. This always reminds me of a calm, steady water. Also, it's important to keep the same pressure in my hand to avoid any inconsistency in the shaded area. In the beginning, it can be hard to keep the pressure consistent. You may feel like your hand is shaking as well, that's alright, this does not mean that you can't achieve the softness or it's not for you. It just means that you don't have that much experience, but it's okay, this is just about practice. When you feel insecure about this, simply slow down, keep drawing the lines very slowly, pay all your attention to them. The practice will improve the confidence in motions of your hand and your lines will look much smoother. And as I said many times, in this case I recommend using a paper with a smooth surface. Regardless of the brand, just go over the paper with your fingers to get in touch with the surface and choose the one where you can barely feel any texture. The more texture you can feel, the more it will be visible in the final results of your shading. Sometimes I recommend to use a chisel point tip, a larger the flat plane of the tip to create little thicker strokes. You can try to shade also with the side of the tip. Another important part of my shading process is building values very slowly in many layers. You can also change the direction of the strokes while drawing in many layers. This helps to cover up the white dots in the shading, the parts where the paper is still visible. I love this process because it always feels like adding more depth and sense of form besides the softness as well. Another important part, aspect of the process when we try to achieve softness is blending. Blending is a technique helping to soften the shading, the pencil lines, or it might help us to create a gradual transitions between the values. In most of my larger drawings, especially for blending very soft areas such as the skin, I love using synthetic filbert paintbrush. Uh, you can also use a makeup brush because it's really smooth for the real skin. And just go over the shading few times to soften the lines and merge them nicely together. But it is not so effective in case I wouldn't create soft shading first. The strokes would still be visible even after blending and the final effect wouldn't look so smooth. So it's also very important to pay attention to the shading part. And for smaller drawings or smaller areas, I love using a blending stump for blending, usually with uh, little circular motions. And please try to be very gentle when applying this tool to prevent from some unwanted smudges in the drawing.
And there's the technique I was talking in the beginning of the video, a technique I started using in my recent small drawings. I love created some parts of the shading already with the blending stump, uh, with the graphite absorbed in its tip. You can try to use it for the full process of shading and for the darker results I recommend to work with graphite from softer pencils or you can just use it to create the first layers to make the process faster and easier. But I always try it on a special piece of paper before applying it to the drawing to avoid some dark smudges, especially when I want to work with light values. And again, in this process, I try to work very gently and patiently in little circular motions. I believe the techniques and styles of many artists um, differ even when they work with realism. We all imprint a little different essence in what we create and the way of creating it helps us to c capture the essence. The form of creating may be part of the expression, it's not just a style or technique. I love creating both quick rough sketches and value drawings. But when I try to capture the sense of realness in my work, I love to play with this softness of shading. I love to play with the softness as part of the meaning behind them. It just supports the essence of the drawing. One of my themes is gentleness and gentle attention to oneself or others. And I love working with silk, for example. It represents the symbol for softness and gentleness and this soft approach of drawing just helps you create the sense of it. In case you would like to see the real-time process of shading the hand and also uh, narration of the process where I was trying to this technique, please check out my Patreon. Uh, I will put the link to the description down below the video. There are more than 200 videos right now full of real-time processes, tips and uh, tutorials. So that's all for me for today. I hope it was helpful. In case you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel because many new videos are coming soon. I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.